Hey everybody, Carla with Carla's Clever Crafts. Tonight we're going to be making another Valentine's Day wreath with this cute little truck that says Happy Valentine's Day. It's hauling a load of hearts that have all different designs and patterns. We have leopard pink, leopard print, stripes, polka dots, red glitter. On the front fender here we have some beautiful roses and Happy Valentine's Day written on the side. So we're going to be designing a wreath to match that sign. I'm going to load in my comments. Okay, I've already gotten the base started for us. We're working again today with a 14 inch wireframe from the Dollar Tree. The wireframe has four rings, one, two, three, four, all the way around. I have wired it myself with white pipe cleaners, white to match my color pattern I've selected. And I have 12 going around the outside ring and six going around the inside rings. Um, when you do the inside, you do around the two inside rings. When you do the outside, do the outside two rings. And if you um, want to see a video on how to do that, um, some of my other videos, I go over in detail how to put the pipe cleaners on so you space them evenly. And I've um, started here working with um, this really pretty pink deco mesh. This one came from bbcrafts.com. And then I have this really pretty metallic mesh. If you've watched some of my other videos, I've used both of these. This one came from Hobby Lobby. Okay, and I just alternated those two going around our base, pink, white, all the way around. I've left two here to show you how I put those in. We're also going to add some really pretty um, roses and some glitter hearts when we get done to embellish our wreath. We're using the crumple method to do a crumple. We need to make a curl on this end first, so we're going to fold it over and do one, two, three, four. Put our clip or your close pin or whatever you have that will hold your curl. Turn the clip away from you. Do the same thing on the other end. One, two, three, four. And this is what it looks like. Curl on each end. Then turn it over with your curls face down. Scrunch down the middle. Pinch the two sides together. Take off your clip, holding them between your fingers. And then we're going to place on this bottom row of mesh. I've got my mesh tangled up here. We're going to place our mesh in with the finished edge to the inside and outside of our wreath form. So to the inside and outside. Gonna put it down in the next pipe cleaner. Oh, I have the wrong collar. So actually, I'm gonna put this one over here. Make sure we follow our pink white pattern. And when you put it in the pipe cleaner, make sure you squeeze that down in there good and tight. You know, pull it hard, and then give your pipe cleaner a couple twists. Make sure the piece of mesh to the right is laying over top of the piece of mesh you just put in. Okay, so now we need to do a pink one. Exactly the same way. Let me go down here and see if I can find my lives. There we go. Okay, we're just going to fold it over. One, use our pinkies to keep these ends tucked down. Two, three, four. That way the cut edge gets rolled completely under. You'll have less spraying that way. One, two, three, four. If anybody um, has any questions, just leave them in the comments. Hi, Laura. How are you this evening? Just scrunch down the middle and put it in our last pipe cleaner here. Make sure that we get it tight. Twist it a couple times, and then again, make sure that we layer the piece to the right 
of the piece we just put in over top. That way our pattern continues to go the same and we have a uniform look. Okay, for the ribbons, of course I found this um, really adorable leopard print pink truck hauling some hearts that matches our sign. Um, one of the hearts on our sign has the leopard print in it and then the pink truck. To pair with that, I decided to match the roses on the front fender. So we went with this pink and white rose ribbon. And then we're going to add in some of this red glitter ribbon to match the glitter part in the truck. And then we're going to use the solid pink. The truck and rose ribbon and the solid pink came from craftoutlet.com. The red glitter ribbon that I'm using, I actually had purchased from somebody a whole big lot of the ribbon they were selling. Um, so I'm not exactly sure where it come from, but I do know Craft Outlet has some red glitter ribbons available. It may not be exactly the same as this one, but you, you could certainly use it. Okay, now for our pattern, on the bottom, we're using three six inch pieces of the red and three six inch pieces of the pink. They're dovetailed only on one end, leave the other end straight. We're also using on the bottom layer three 12 inch pieces of the pink and three 12 inch pieces of the red. And then we'll have three 12 inch pieces of the pink truck and three 12 inch pieces of the rose and that will be for our bottom layer. Now when we do the top layer, I'll cover how many pieces we use there when we get to that point. All right, so now to show you the pattern I used, um, I did six inch pink, then six inch red, 12 inch pink, 12 inch red, six inch pink, six inch red, 12 inch pink, and 12 inch red. And then we're gonna go back once we complete that pattern here, I'm gonna show you how to complete it. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna lay our two design ribbons over top of those six inch pieces. So I'll show you that when we get there. So here we've done six inch red and six inch pink. So we need 12 inch red will be our next one. You're just rotating the collar and you're doing two six inch and then two 12 inch two six inch, two 12 inch, rotating the collar, pink, red, pink, red. Oh, I forgot to show you, we lay the ribbon out, scrunch it down the middle, and then V it back towards yourself so that you're matching up your ends here. And then when you hold it up, it'll look like that, kind of like a V, and then just place it in your pipe cleaner. The pipe cleaners, we're putting the 12 inch pieces in. That's the only thing we'll be adding to this pipe cleaner. So once I twist this around real good, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess pipe cleaner. Be careful not to cut your mesh underneath. And then push that extra little piece down in and squeeze it to tighten it around your ribbon to give it a secure hold. And then just fluff out your ribbon tails. Like that. Okay, now we need pink 12 inch. Same thing with the 12 pink. We're just going to scrunch down the middle, V that back towards us. Glad you're doing good, Laura. Doing pretty good here, too. Thank you for watching. Okay, same thing. Give it a few good twists to make sure it's in there nice and secure. Cut off the extra and push that down in. We just fluff up the middle part of our ribbon to make it kind of bow out and curl the ends at the end so it kind of wraps around our mesh and lays nicely. And now that we did the two 12 inch pieces, we need two six inch pieces. So we did red, pink. Now we need to do red again with the six inch. To do the six inch, you're gonna scrunch on the flat edge and just scrunch it together. Pinch the two sides together like that. 
and then just place it in so that that ribbon tail comes straight out the middle of the piece of mesh you're laying it on top of. Now we're going to add more ribbon to this so we don't want to cut off where we're putting in the six inch pieces because we're going to have additional ribbon laying on top of that. So for our last one here, it will be the pink six inch. Same thing, scrunch it on the flat edge, like that. Place it into the next pipe cleaner, twist it in there tightly, pull it tight and then twist a couple times and then fluff up the tail so it's laying straight out the middle of the piece of mesh you put it on top of. Okay, and now we're ready to add our pretty design ribbons and we're going to do those just like this over top of the six inch pieces. So we have the pink rose one over top of the red glitter and then we have the cheetah print truck over top of the solid pink. So I'm going to come around here. Here's our next two six inch pieces. So that's where we're going to start. We're going to put the flower over the red glitter and I did that because I didn't want to put pink on pink. I felt like that would be too much so I put the rose over the red glitter. that is the last thing we'll put in that pipe cleaner so now we're ready to cut this one off push the extra down in squeeze it just like the others and then fluff out the ribbon so it kind of forms an arch coming out now we're going to put this adorable truck ribbon same way scrunch down the middle V it back towards us so the ends are even and then place it right over top of that pink so that it V's around the pink. That way you see both sides of the truck pattern and the pink that we put underneath. Okay. All right, now these two are 12 inches and so we're not adding anything else to those. We'll go on around until we get to the next two six inch pieces and they're right here. So same thing, red rose or pink rose over top of red glitter. solid pink exactly the same way We are ready to start building our next layer. We're going to be working with these six pipe cleaners that were on the inside two rings. To do that, we're going to reach in between the mesh and pull those pipe cleaners to the outside. All the way around, there are six of them, so we want to make sure we pull all six to the outside. In this design, we're also going to be making some curls with the deco mesh to put on top. So we're going to be doing cruffles and curls. Okay, now that I got those all out, we're going to first add another row of cruffles, and then we'll come in behind that and we'll add some curls. We're going to rotate the pink and white just like we did on the bottom. Do our cruffles the same way. 
the uh, deco mesh pieces are cut 16 to 17 inches long. I think I forgot to mention that. That is for the for um, the bottom layer of cruffles as well as this top layer we're getting ready to do now. They're 16 to 17 inches long. Okay, turn it over. Scrunch just small sections at a time down the middle so you get like a ruffled effect on the edges. Pinch it together. It looks like a little bow tie. And then this time, instead of putting the finished edges to the inside and outside, we're going to turn it. And we're going to put those facing to the right and the left. It's like we're adding little bows all the way around the top of our wreath. Don't pull too tight or you'll sink your mesh to the bottom. You don't want to do that. We're building it up, so we don't want to keep everything mashed down flat. So we did pink. Now we'll do a white. sides together, place it in like a bow, finished edge to the right and left. Did white, so now we do pink. One, two, three, four. Use your pinkies to hold down those outside edges. So you're getting all of that cut edge curled underneath in your curl. Put this down in, same way we did the first two. Remember, don't pull too tight. You don't want to sink your mesh all the way to the bottom. Now we need white, and we're working on those six pipe cleaners that we pulled from the inside only at this point. I know it's a little late to do a Valentine's Day design, but I'm actually still selling Valentine's Day wreaths, so since I had to make one for a customer, I thought I'd go ahead and hop on here and do a video on how to do it. That's one of the reasons I, I like Valentine's Day. A lot of crafters skip it, and that's good for me. <laughs> so if you're thinking about selling race at some point in the future, give some thought to creating several Valentine's Day designs. A lot of people like to do one or two and then skip straight on into spring and Easter, which there are, you know, spring and Easter sales are bigger than Valentine's Day. There's no doubt about that. But um, there is a whole lot of people out there who buy Valentine's Day wreaths every year. So it's part of the market that you don't want to miss. One more white to put in and then I'll show you how we're going to add the curls. started making these wreaths, I was really, really slow. I've gotten a little bit faster with time, so with practice and stuff, you will get faster. I, um, I slow down on my videos because I'm trying to explain, so I'm trying to make sure that I take enough time to do that. Okay, now, to make the curls, we're 
we're going to use this pink and it's kind of like a cream or off-white color um, poly burlap mesh. We're going to need six of these and because we're doing curls, these are cut to 10 inches long. So all of these meshes are 10 inches wide. When you do your curls, you'll cut your 10 inch wide mesh into 10 inch long pieces, giving you a 10 inch square. And then to do a curl, it's as simple as we just fold this part, part over and then roll it. And just keep rolling till you get to the other end. And then at that bottom end, I like to put that face down in my wreath to protect from fraying. And we're just gonna put this with one, right in the center with one piece coming, one side to the left, one side to the right. Okay, just like that. And then just puff them up a little bit. So now we'll add six curls all the way around. Again, you're just folding it over to the size of curl you want and then just rolling it all the way up. Put that cut edge face down. And you can place these any way you want to. I'm uh, placing mine to the left and right, but you could certainly angle them any way you wanted to. Okay. It just gives some more texture to your wreath. Um, and then it also gives you some, some more color to contrast, create a contrast. And I, I wanted to do this extra layer because the pink and white mesh is um, sheer. Both are the colors that I used as on the base. So this just adds some additional color and fullness. And if you have little straight pieces sticking out, just snip those off. two more of these to do and then we'll add our top layer of ribbons again use your pinkies when you're doing your curls make sure you're getting those ends rolled under evenly One. And you want to try to place your curls in so that you have the same amount on the right and the left, same amount coming out on each side. Okay, now on for our ribbons on the top. We're using all the same four ribbons. All of these are gonna be cut to 12 inch pieces and dovetailed on both ends. So, and you need um, three of each. So you're gonna need three of the truck, three of the red, three of the pink, and three of the rose. All 12 inch pieces dovetailed on each side. Okay. And then we match the red with the rose. Now this time we're going to do the X pattern. If you've watched my other videos, you've probably seen me do this. We're going to crisscross them in an X shape and then just scrunch down the middle, pinch the two sides together until we have an X. Then we're going to just place those directly down in the middle of our pipe cleaner and give it a good twist. Now I'm not going to clip these off or push them down because I'm going to be adding some glitter hearts to those. And I'll show you that step after we get our ribbons on and our sign added. I'm going to add some 
pink and red glitter hearts in there. Okay, so now we did the rose and the red. We need to do the pink and the truck. We're gonna alternate the pattern all the way around again. Make an X. Place it straight down in your pipe cleaner. Now pipe cleaners are a little shorter than I like them. It's, they're still going to work, I believe. Okay. Make sure your curls are showing. You know, kind of show you this. Um, I've kind of placed it so the curls are coming straight out the side and then the X this way so that all three dimensions will show on both sides. Okay, so now we're back to the red and the rose. If you have any questions, if you're watching this on replay later or on YouTube, um, you can always leave me a comment or send me a message and I try to check those um, periodically. So I will get back to you. If there's anything that I forget to mention or you just want clarification on. We're just fluffing the ribbons the same way, just arching them up and out so they curl down on the ends and lay nicely around our mesh. to the truck and the pink again, exact same way. I suggest if you're doing this, you use a full length pipe cleaner. Um, I didn't have any 12 inch white ones, so I took a 20 inch white one and cut it in half, which gave me 10 inch pieces. And it's gonna be a little rough here on the top, adding all of the things that I'm wanting to add. So I would definitely try to get the 12 inch if you're wanting to try this design. around here and show you what I mean by fluffing the ribbons. When you put them in, they're kind of just standing straight out. Some people leave them like that. Some people like them like that. So that's fine. That's one option that you can do. Um, I prefer to do what I call fluffing mine, which is where I arch it up from the base here. I just kind of push out on the inside of that. And then I just kind of get it to curl so it lays out nicely and wraps around the mesh. And I just do that with each piece. And I just keep messing with it until I get it to lay the way that I want it to. Just like that. Okay, and here's our last one. what it looks like so far. We're going to get ready and add our truck to it. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my glue pot to start warming up. So we'll need that to add the roses. Okay. And 
I've already cut my holes in the truck. I cut one at the bottom here and then one up here at the top. To do that, I use my metal hole punch from Amazon. This is MDF board. Um, the metal hole punch works beautifully, perfectly on this wood. And then I cut, I've already wired the bottom one here, but I left this one to show you how. I use this 26 gauge floral wire from the Dollar Tree. And I, I twist off about 12 to 14 inch pieces, longer than I need, makes it easier for me to work with though. And then you take the wire, go down through the hole that you just made. I have to take my glasses off to see it. Down through the hole. You lay your fit sign face down and you're going to pull the ends of the wire until you get them fairly even. Okay, now we're going to twist over top of the hole that we made. So don't twist on this outside edge of your sign. Twist over top of the hole you made and pull it kind of tight because you don't want it to slide around on your sign because then it'll make your sign flimsy on your wreath. And just give it four or five good twists, staying right over top of the hole. Not sure if you can see that. And then you see our wires are coming out the back of our sign and not off of the edge of our sign. Gives us a little more stability. So then when we place it in, we just choose where we want it to lay, how we want it to lay. Push some of our mesh out and kind of tuck it down in. Not pushing it way down in, just tucking it in to make it look a part of the design. And then we're gonna come in here and find our two wires. We're gonna pull these two wires down through all of the mesh and ribbon we added, down to the metal wire frame that we started with. Wrap the wires around the two inner rings. And remember I showed at the beginning, there's four rings around the wreath form. You're gonna go around the two inner ones and then you're just gonna pull it to about where you want it. Don't pull it too tight or you'll sink your sign to the bottom of your wreath. And you don't wanna lose your beautiful sign inside of your design. And then I give it a good 10 to 15 twists. Make sure it's good and secure. And then I'm just gonna take my wire cutters and clip off the extra because I leave my wire pieces really long to make it work easier to work with. And then we're gonna take this extra piece that's here and we're just gonna wrap it around that inside wire on the frame, on the frame until we push that pointed edge up inside. That way no one's gonna get scratched, cut, hurt, damage their door, their wall. Okay, so then we're gonna do the exact same thing at the top. Find our two wires, come right down through the mesh. the wire wreath frame around the inside two rings. Make sure before we start twisting that we like our sign placement where it's at. Pull some of the mesh up out of there if you want to. Okay, I like that right about there. So I'm gonna twist it on. Remembering not to pull too tight or you will end up with uh, your sign sunk in to your mesh. I like mine to rest just so the mesh, the top layer of mesh kind of frames it, but it's not sunk clear to the bottom. Okay, and now I don't have any excess on this one, so I don't have to clip it off. I just have to wrap it around that inner wire ring again on our frame, making sure there's no sharp edges sticking out. Okay. All right, and then we need to add our glitter hearts. And I'm gonna go around each of the six sections that we did. I have to readjust my ribbon over here. I messed it up with my sign. Um, 
in each of those six sections, we have two pipe cleaner ends. So I'm going to add this, these parts right onto each of those. So I have 12 total parts, six pink and six red. And I'm gonna put one of each color in each section. So I'm gonna start right here. And all I'm doing, these are foam hearts from the Dollar Tree. You get 24 in a pack for $1.25. And the pipe cleaner has a wire in it. So I am just going to use that wire and slowly push this heart right down onto that pipe cleaner. Just like that. And now I'm gonna do a pink one beside that one. And be careful, do it slow because um, you can push out the side of your heart. You don't wanna do that. Okay. And this is where I said having a little bit of extra length on your pipe cleaner would be helpful. I got mine just a little bit shorter than I would like. It's still gonna work, but I like them to be a little bit longer. Also harder to get my fingers in there. I cooperated very well. We're doing one red and one pink in each of the six sections. Well, you can see what I'm doing. get them on the pipe cleaner you can twist them to lay whatever way you want them to just be careful when you're twisting around that pipe cleaner to lay your hearts that you don't um, untwist your ribbon because this is what's holding that all together so you got to make sure you have it come apart Almost did two red. Be careful. Follow your pattern. Red and pink in each section. And then this is our last one. And then, of course, when you're in here pushing these down, you might mess up your ribbon, so you might have to re-fluff those. This one here is messed up. So that's what they look like, the little hearts, once you get them added on. Very cute. And then of course when people look at your wreath from the side, they'll see, they'll notice those little hearts. Okay, so we're going to add some roses as our last embellishment for this wreath. I'm gonna go ahead, these came from the Dollar Tree and they're called Tea Roses. Dollar twenty-five, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six on a stem. Okay, and I'm just going to cut these off with just a little piece of a stem on it. Um, I don't need a whole lot of stem. Just a little bit to put the glue on and push down into where I want them to lay. if I'll need all those. I'm going to go ahead and cut them off. And then I save this because I'm going to use this later to make a spray for some of my other wreaths, like a floral front spray or a ribbon spray. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with a few of these. I don't know if I'll use all these, but we'll see. Okay. Let's 
see if the glue pot is ready. Yeah, it's iffy. Okay, so I'm going to start. I think I'm going to put one down in here. I'll go ahead and place them while the glue pot gets a little bit, glue pot gets a little bit warmer. Um, I think I'm going to have one right here on the inside of the mesh there. And then probably right here. And I am using, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, um, there are, there's a little bit of color difference between them. This one's a little darker than this one. Same type of rose, same design, but one does have a, a little bit darker color. Okay. Um, I'll probably put one right here coming out from between the hearts, maybe. Like that. So we have some from the side view. Same thing up here. Turn this around so I can see. There we go. Probably put it in there just like that. Um, maybe put a little one coming out right there. And definitely want one over here. I think I'm going to put this bigger one right there. Some of them are a little bit bigger than others, so when you're deciding your placement, keep that in mind. And I think I'll do this one right here, maybe. Yeah, I think that looks good. So now all we've got to do is glue them in. Let's see if this glue is ready. I'm just going to dip it in my glue pot. I use a Shore Bonder glue pot. I got that on Amazon. It's warm enough, I think we can get enough glue. So I'm just going to kind of work in order here, trying not to miss any of the ones I stuck in. Dab that glue around there so it gets a good hold. And I'm, I'm kind of attaching the roses so that they're hitting some of the ribbon. I don't, um, I don't typically like to rely just on this mesh to hold it, especially the thinner mesh, because um, it might come loose. But it will adhere very well to the edges of the ribbon, so. that one up a little bit so it doesn't hide our hearts. There we go. This one. The glue pot makes it very easy. It's a lot easier to dip this like this and let the excess drop off than it is to try to do it with a glue gun. I burn myself a lot with glue and this glue pot does save me when I'm doing this type of work from burning myself. In fact, I have a big old nasty place on my finger that actually was for me sticking it to the side of my glue pot. So if you get one of those, be careful. Don't touch the side. It gets very hot. Uh, I've seen another crafter that when she uses glue, she wears gloves. That's very, very smart. And I actually have gloves, but I never wear them. <laughs> I just find it hard to work with them on. Okay. And we have one more right here. Back to where we started from. I think we got all of them. Let's see a spot up here though. I think I want to add one more. I'm going to go ahead and clip off a little one. I'll show you. I have one facing the inside and then one over here and one over here, but this whole area is kind of left without a flower. So I'm going to add one up here.
I'll just come straight out here. There we go. So I just added one in there on the other side of the heart. And now I think that's good. I think that is beautiful. We have our finished product. Let me know what you guys think. If anybody has any questions. Hey Desiree, you totally could do this. Anybody could do this. Maybe I'll have you as a guest on one of my lives and we can do one together and teach you to show everybody how easy it really is. That was an idea actually passed on to me by my son, Cameron. And I think it's a good idea and I think Desiree would be a good candidate for a guest appearance. Hey Ida, love you, miss you. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you, Desiree. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's it for this one. So you guys have a good night. And I may be back on here in a little bit doing another one. I'm not sure. So if you have time, jump on with me. And if not, if I don't get back on this evening, I'll definitely be on again uh, tomorrow because I have another one I've got to get done. And in the mail tomorrow. So, all right. Well, you guys have a good night. And thanks again for watching.